Hello, hello, stream. Trend is in the Discord with me, chilling out today. Me and him are chatting, hanging out while he... Fi we finally found... <laughs> For those who were here yesterday, when we were doing our Minecraft Plus Play, um, two things. First off, we finally found the <laughs> jungle Trent's been looking for because we realized that we had to click... Well, I realized I had to click large biomes down on our chunk finder thing, and that's what <laughs> the whole screw up was. So that was fun. Um, and secondly, now up on YouTube, there's a Minecraft uh, Let's Play called The Empire, where you can see us playing through from my perspective. Um, for those who are interested, um, feel free to check that out. And yeah, um, we're going to continue playing the Minecraft stuff. That might be more of a YouTube series where I'll probably just record us playing around and screwing around on it um, more than I do actually um, anything else. So... If you want to watch that kind of stuff, just make sure to sub on YouTube. And, you know, if you want to see me stream it, let me know. But for right now, we're going to continue what we're doing, uh, which I believe was building up our armies, because we've got 17k gold. We've got a magnificent painting um, in our inventory. We have gout, and we're fat. <laughs> it's just that's how the day goes. Uh, we do have our sons, who are doing really well. Um, we do have a decent amount of manpower at 7k now. We were looking last time at declaring war on the Abbasid. However, again, he's still got that monthly decadence issue, which makes him a little bit harder. However, he is at a lack of funds, which also means that all the morale of his armies are minus 25%, which means that he's actually still taking a negative morale bonus. So now is definitely a time to go to war and take what we can off this guy um, the best we can. So, for us, we need for our holy sites. So, we need to go to war with them. That's true. Um, we do need this territory. So, there's one. And then we also... there's That's someone else. We don't have to worry about them yet. And there's over there. So, eventually, one of our goals here will be to go to war with these guys. However, we're not going to get a chance like this to fight the um, emperor... Uh, or the Abbasid uh, Emperor anytime soon, so it's better to get it going now. And we'll be coming after these guys later. I don't even know what the hell's going on with you. Hmm. Oh, you're an adventurer. Ah, eh, fair enough. We will be going to war with him, because we can do holy wars against him without any worries of uh, other people of the same religion. But the Abbasid is just too good of a shot to do something right now. Um, so we want a holy war for... Kurdistan to take this religious site um, and that will eventually hopefully get us to where we we're trying to go so we're going to do this we have 17k troops or 17k gold we are hurting for our vassal levies um, which is unfortunate but we have we we should be all right Ooh, actually I'm going to disband that army real quick because I don't want them to get hit so we're going to bring the army together and we're going to push for war and try and rebirth Zoroastrianism. And then we're going to try and liberate the Greeks to get an epic war of um, the, the original Hellenic Greeks versus the, per the true Persians. So that is our goal overall right now. We are, of course, still going for what we are going for. And we've got rebellions left and right. Now, we do still have some gold. Um, I'm definitely going to use it here. Uh, in fact, let's do the cavalry boost because we want to be able to knock some of these guys out. So, cause basically like we're going to try and kill or knock out the opposite early. Um, he's got his 5k troops there. The quicker we get there before he gets his gold back, the better. Um, cause he is still hurting for gold, but he is making it back. So we definitely like want to get everything now before he uh becomes too much of a problem so yeah that's basically what's going on for those wondering and we're going into this war f you know blazing basically uh oh what the hell we also gained a duchy over here apparently all right was not expecting us to continue expanding out here but i will grant you the land that i just created on february 5th there you go Makes you a lot happier. 
We did just recently change it to Agnac Primogeniture so that way our heir could take over. Um, Zoroastrianism isn't doing as great as it could be, but we are about to take another religious site, so we should be alright. And again, it's mainly at this point we're going to try and siege this down as quickly as possible uh, before... Oh, we had two twin daughters. Um, this become... Or we don't have a chance of winning. Like, that's the big thing here. Um, I am not becoming orthodox. Okay. It's still a rough fight, not gonna lie. Even with our... Even with his uh, lack of bonuses, or his bonuses in here, we are still hit it, getting hit pretty hard. And we have, like, no morale right now. Oof. Alright. And now we're going to get attacked by this guy. Who is going to, like, smack us. Yeah, we were expecting that, though. Uh, we do need a new court physician. We're going to do that real quick. We've got a few prisoners, which is nice. And we do have some dangerous factions, so we're going to pay some people off just to keep them calm. Um, you're of... So why are you upset with me? Oh. That minus 10 will go away later, and then we'll get rid of the um, issues uh, with uh, Ray's Levy soon. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't know if Wolf will be joining us today. He might, uh, or it might just be me and Trent. Trent is building his Minecraft forest uh, fortress in the uh, jungle and building an Aztec theme, so it should be interesting. All right. Now, we got Herit pretty good there. Uh, oh, my God. He's got 10K troops now. Jesus criminy, dude. All right. So, he's got another 8K, so we're actually going to hire more troops. We have the gold. There's no reason not to. And we keep making money. Like, that's the big thing. And this is before we've uh, borrowed from Jewish merchants or expelled Jewish merchants. Uh, but we do want to try and wipe these guys out. The biggest issue is trying to get them when they're not being reinforced, which they are. Oh, shit. Well, this is about to be a bad fight. Okay. I mean, we're kind of winning, but he's getting way more troops. Yeah, no. Nope. Oh, god damn it. My mercenary's locked in. Can we just both go here first? Yeah, it's it's going to be bad here. Okay, so we've got 6k troops that are reinforcing quite heavily right now. Um, we're not winning currently, but... Oh, God damn it, stop reinforcing, you asshole. Oh, good, and we got another war coming in. Uh, why did I... This is why I've decided to be just playing Minecraft for like the past few days, because fucking Christ, my luck in CK2. First the SPQR shit, now this. It's just not been a good week for me. It has not been a good week for me. Alright. Um, let's educate our heir. We've got a war going against some asshole that I don't know and I'm not paying attention to right now. Let me see. Who are you? You're under him. Okay. So where are you? You're up there and you have 6k troops. That's great. All right. Well, we weren't doing this earlier, but now we are because, well, we don't have a choice. Why can I not do this? Oh, I can't expel them. That's annoying. So we've lost another fucking war against the Abbasid, even though we should have won. But because of the fact... That I was stupid with how I ran things. Oh, he's got his fucking morale bonus back. That's why. Ah, fuck. I just need... Can you stop, please? Just for five fucking seconds. Jesus. Um, fuck me. God damn it. I don't have enough men right now. And these guys aren't reinforcing quick enough. And yes, I know, I could cut my losses, just give up now, and just pay the gold. That's 100% true. The reason I'm not doing this is because, well, I'm stubborn. And that's how it goes. Please don't reinforce. I might actually have a chance. Nope, you're going to reinforce. You are a douchebag. Oh, please kill them. Come on, I have better commanders. Hmm. 
This is what people want. It's the SPQR stream yesterday all over again. These mercenaries are absolutely worthless at this point. Um... I'm thinking. Give me a moment. I know Cav is amazing. I'm wondering if I should just do a Cav heavy army. Wait, where is the other one? Yeah, I hired two other there. <sighs> well, there went our fucking gold, guys, and we're about to go bankrupt. Therefore, we will not be able to win this war either because we can't afford mercenaries. Oh, good, they're joining the enemy. Even better is I can't... Oh, now I can expel them. That's great. Couldn't... Well, I mean, this mercenary army is going to get wiped out. Like it doesn't... I'm just going to let the game run. I'm not even going to do anything anymore. I quit. Like, I, I honestly give up. Mmm. That's good. So we're 11 minutes into the stream. We're 11 minutes into the stream. And I've already lost. Someone asked me recently, why yesterday, well, you know, yesterday they messaged me, why yesterday I decided to stream Minecraft instead of continuing the SPQR, even though, you know, I had like five fucking revolts and 2,000 men because I misclicked something. Which, of course, CK2 doesn't have any options to fix that. So, and of course, I'm going to go back and try and fix it myself. I'm going to try and run the game and just spend a bunch of money on mercenaries and try and, you know, beat the revolts. The likelihood is not very high, but, you know, I figured I'd try on my own. Um, and if it succeeded, then I'd stream, uh, continue to stream. If I failed, I wouldn't. But, so this week has been kind of shitty. Lots been going on. Oh, fucking Christ. This guy's got a K one K 11k troops now. One fucking province. So, yeah, and now I understand, you know, I could just say, hey, let's let the rebellion win, or not let the rebellion, let the claimant win, you know, let him have it, and just move on. I get that, and that is 100% an option. The reason I don't choose that is because I like to, I don't like losing, like any sane human being that, you know, exists in this world. If you enjoy losing, you're fucking psychopathic. But, that being said, what irks me is that this week I have fucked up twice now. First, the SPQR thing. Three times, actually. Then the fucking creepers. Those goddamn creepers in Minecraft. Fuck you. I almost put it on peaceful because of that. And now, this. So let's have a serious talk for a moment on why... This is the biggest... And I know there are going to be people who unfollow because of this shit. And that's even better. Because I'm going to lose viewers. I'm going to lose people. It just keeps going down and down. When it rains, it pours. It, and that's what's pissing me off. Is everything... is going well in my normal life. You know, I've got a good job interview today. Well, assuming I do well and I'm not in a bad mood later. That's going to be a hard one now. Got a good workout in. Doing well in school. But then this shit all hits. And it just goes from good, or from bad to worse, every fucking time. 
Now I can't beat this guy. 11k troops. I'm I'm done. There's like no way. We have to accept that we lost that piece of territory. That's fucking like ridiculous and bullshit. I should have beat the Abbasid. That pisses me off more. Because not only do I lose the fucking thing here, but now I gotta go deal with other shit and I'm out of manpower, out of money, and we gotta wait to bounce back. And, of course, it couldn't be just that we lost. The motherfucker, the motherfucker had to print my train routes. I'm taking the rest of this week off. I'm not streaming anymore this week. I'm done until uh, until next week. I am that irritated with this whole situation because the SPQR run went terribly. The Minecraft shit went terribly. I mean, it does well when I'm not streaming it, which is fine. And now this. If you're going to unfollow because of this or unsubscribe on YouTube, well, fuck you, honestly, because you obviously haven't had a bad week in your life then. So, and I am extremely salty, like, right now about this. Like, there's legitimately nothing I can do to make this work. It's... I've got rebellions here. I mean, I'm going to try. But if this doesn't work today, if this does not work, if I fail and lose this to this rebellion, I'm done streaming for the week. I'm, like, 100%. I'm done streaming for that week, this week. I'm going to go maybe do some recordings for YouTube. Maybe I'll run some live recordings for you guys to watch. But 100%, I will be done streaming for this week if I lose this right now. Because now we got to build everything back fucking up. Which you know, that is my absolute favorite thing to have to deal with. Fuck you. Who are you? God damn it, your stupid fucking thing. I don't have any other places I can set up trade posts at this point, I assume. Oh, here. Nope, someone else has got it. Great. If I, honestly, if this run fails today, I'm, I'm done, like, for the week. Where are we not doing, so we aren't doing D&D stream this week because I've got Lord, right? I've got a lot of fucking homework to deal with right now. I'm trying to get the whole Minecraft thing going because I'm having a lot of fun doing that. But CK2 this week. Oh, come on. Fuck off, dude. Seriously. You better not break it again. <sighs> yeah, CK2 this week has been god awful. I've been, like, angrier than all hell dealing with it. Nothing has been going on well. We've been, we're, I've been trying to get the SPQR thing. I gotta, like, sit down and do, actually do that. Don't tell me you fucking ruined my trade art again. I swear to God, if you come in and break this thing, I will end you. <sighs> yeah, so, it's been a rough week. I, uh, I feel bad because poor Trend's dealing with his own shit. I'm trying to be nice and help the guy out as much as I can, but I'm just bringing negativity to him. That's why I jumped out of the Discord because I know that I'm not helping him in any way by, you know, talking about this shit because it's just, you know, you don't need that kind of shit in your life when you're deal going through things. So, and this will eventually pass. It's just, it has me annoyed now. Oh, good. Can you just cut my foot off already? Come on. Hurry up. Thank you. Finally. Jesus. Uh, apparently the gout was in my eye. Um. Yeah. So. It's been a rough week. It has been a very rough week on me. 
dealing with all of this shit that's going on. I'm trying to get everything for school done. I'm trying to figure out everything I need to so that way I can graduate here on the 14th. I've got two assignments. They're just driving me nuts because uh, I want to get them done. And it's the Aurora Textile case that I'm working on. Which I really just need to sit down and do it with time, or some time to sit down with it. Oh, good. An infection. That's, yep. Hope you guys are looking forward to a Regency. Um, oh, another. I have to. The guy died. Great. That's fan fucking tastic. So I've got to. What was I going? I've got to do that. I've got to get time to sit down. I've got job recruiting. I'm trying to get this job. I'm desperately fighting hard to get this job. And I'm still not guaranteed it. Like, there is no guarantee. I am also in the middle of trying to get um, my client's stuff done. So that way I can officially, you know, be done with that class. I have a uh, eight pages to write for a paper. Uh, on the financial stuff, which has just not been like coming to me, and it's pissing me off because I can't just sit down and write it, and I want to, and that's like, fuck, <laughs> you know, like I'm just, I just need to get this done. Then we have a PowerPoint due three days after the the out, rough draft of our paper is due. No one in my group, I think, has even started the rough draft, which is, you know, uh, you know, fucking great. <laughs> I'm on this point where I'm like, I'm right there. I can see it and everything. I'm afraid. I'm, I'm waiting just to just snap and go wrong. Like, everything's going to go wrong at some point. Like, that's what we're waiting for. Or what I'm waiting for. So, if I seem a little uptight and on edge, that's why. I'm going to run to the restroom real quick. I'm going to take a second to breathe, and I will be right back. Okay. What I should have done when I first started the stream, as far as strategy goes, is instead of invading the Abbasid like a fucking idiot, I should have gone after this guy down here, taken these territories off of him, taken this guy out, and then focused on the Saffrids and this fucking empire. I don't know what this is. This must be a custom. Because all I need at this point is the Persian Empire. That's that's the goal to create. So I'm at 28%. So we just need to take, for the most part, this out, him out, and then just chunks of him. And that's all we need. And we'd be fine. But instead I decided to go back after the Abbasid, thinking, well, let's get territories off of him and get the religious sites. That was a dumb idea, because A, I had my raised vassals. They were upset about that. You know, my vassals are now upset with me because we lost that war. And, you know, I'm dealing with rebellions left and right. Or, not rebellions, but these raiders left and right. So I fucked up in that factor. I shouldn't have done that. I don't know why I chose to do that. But that's what happened. Now this guy is raiding us. We are bringing our manpower back up. Which is definitely what we needed. We're bringing our gold back up. Again, something we definitely needed. Um, with our current mountain power, we're at 8k. I'm waiting for this guy's war to end. Uh, wait, what? Oh, okay. He's actually at war with like 50 different people. But we can't go to war with him for a little bit longer. 
So, no point in going there. We can go to war with this guy. Now, we did switch to Tangri, which is a little annoying because these other Tangri lords will be a problem. But he is at war with a bunch of people. So, because of that, now we can liberate. Um, so, I would vassalize non-nomadic lords. Okay. Um, or we can Holy War. Now, I'm more interested in, you know, well, let's see, what is it? Can you use Cassus Belli uh, to seize all tiles held by a savage uh, within the du jour of the Mervid Satrapi? Um, okay. If we win, we gain 200 prestige from the war declaration. Makes sense. Lose 200 prestige, or he loses 200 prestige, and we vassalize non-nomadic lords. Now, while vassalizing these guys would be nice, um, since they're not of our religion, it would be kind of pointless for us. Um... I'm thinking it might be better to just outright, you know, do a holy war against him. Now, he has 8k troops um, with an extra potential 1700. He has his own horde and a hired thing, so he is uh, going to be dealing with money issues throughout the entire thing. I'm going to say that instead we're going to holy war for Merv while we have a chance and try and pick this up and hope... Keyword that the Abbasid doesn't decide to do anything stupid. Now, it is going to be annoying that we're being attacked by these fuckers here. So, instead of being able to get all of our troops, we have to go and basically deal with them. Losing like a quarter of our troops, which is going to annoy the living shit out of me. Fucking raiders. Do you have to go? Can't you just go through the fucking... Oh, whatever. I don't care. Okay. I'm happy. I'm calm. I'm not pl totally planning to just quit streaming altogether. CK2 logic is fucking sometimes terrible. I probably shouldn't have had a cup of coffee because it's put me in a bad mood. It's okay. We're okay. Everything's fine. Oh, good. More men lost. You know. Fan fucking tastic. Okay. You want. Sir Jan. And in exchange, you'll become a vessel and be protected from it, right? You know what? Yeah. I don't care about that. Okay. My main thing... Oh, I can't demand religious conversion because I'm not at peace. That's fine keeps raiders from bothering us i'm okay with that we needed the money anyways why not and he's gonna be an amazing guy for us surf rat it's a bad day buddy not gonna lie between the loss of the spqr stream yesterday blowing up in minecraft like a thousand times yesterday oh good i lost half of my fucking moon Buddy, I, I'm about to quit streaming. That's how bad today is. I stupidly, and I mean it in this case, hit when I was giving away the vice royalty of Thrace, thought it was Greece. So I hit give all titles. I gave up my capital and all of my main territories. So I thought, okay, I'll kill the guy and I'll get them all back. So I did that. Nope. All my titles went to his fucking son, his secondary son, minus the top vice royalty, the kingdom, which I got back. And then I had to revoke his titles. And of course, revoking titles was fine. You know, they were okay with it. And then instead of saying, okay, because I was in the middle of two wars, dealing with some holy war conquests, 
I had to then basically, and I had to, because CK2 logic, and let me explain how bad this logic is, even though I had the Republic of Liburnia, or what the fuck the county wa or the thing was called, you can look it up on YouTube, it's already up there. Even though I had it under my control, the Roman uh, thing wasn't a, uh, uh, saying I did, so I had to revoke it from the guy so I could reapply it. So I started that. Then I accidentally did the Thrace thing. Then I went to revoke the titles, and that started four rebellions. I had 2,000 troops by the end of it. Half of my rebellions had almost 12,000. I have money, so I'm going to try and run through it. But that was over 100 years worth of progress and down the drain. And not only am I so angry about that, but so I, that was in the first 20 minutes of the stream. I went from that to playing Minecraft because I thought, you know what, my, let's play something that will calm me down, keep me relaxed. Normally it's a really easy stream. I'm not the type of guy who gets really upset when I game. But, then I get blown up twice by creepers. It. Blowing up some of my town. I appreciate the gesture, man. But it's just like... I do truly appreciate it. You don't have to spend your money on me. I, you know, thank you. I, you know, really appreciate it. But, it's just that this fucking sucks. <laughs> and then now... I went to war with the abyss at the beginning, thinking, well, okay, the guy had minus, like, 400 gold, you know, I was like, okay, even though he has low decadence, it was, like, minus 25% morale. I thought, alright, I'm gonna easily beat this guy. <sighs> Buddy, you don't have to keep gifting subs. I do appreciate it, but you really don't, man. Thank you so much. Um, and I failed against the abyssid. I got wiped out, and then I got invaded by 11k. Uh, wait, what? Is that five? Is that five subs? Let me update. Let me refresh the stream manager. <laughs> I appreciate it, man, but you really don't. Oh, I'm gonna have to do a beard. I'm gonna have to do the beard shave. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, I did say I would do it. Oh shit. I'll be doing that on stream. Um, I guess we're going to be streaming that tomorrow. The, the beard shave. That'll be uh, part of the stream. Oh, fuck. I didn't actually expect that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but, yeah. No, it's it's been a little... It's been to a day. Um, so, I'm trying to, like, uh, get this, you know, run going again. Trying to fix everything. And it's just like, oh. Uh... I'm not going to... I mean, I will shave this on stream. We'll do it tomorrow. Uh, because I don't have the ra the clips on me, and I have to go. I don't have any razors, so I won't be able to get down to the nitty gritty. Oh, actually, I do have a razor left. I should be all right. Um, so I will uh, be doing that tomorrow. So look forward to that tomorrow at 9 a.m. Uh, PST, and it will of course go up on YouTube as part of the stream. I will. Uh, it'll be on my phone. Probably, or well, actually, I can probably do it from here. I'll just have to uh, get the garbage bag. All right, yeah, we're going to do the shave. And I have my interview today, so, you know, that's going to be a uh, part of it. Oh, man. I guess I have to let everyone know. Oh, my God, he has 10 gauge. <laughs> Fuck me. No. Really? Oh. <laughs> Shah Baruz has ascended to heaven at age 48. He died a natural death, cursed with an unhealthy life for food or unhealthy love for food. Baruz was known for his massive girth, many at court fearing that his habits would lead him to an untimely demise for years before his death. <laughs> Shah Shahaba Shahab, merely 12 years old, the realm was left in the cave. Should I just go get, like, the stuff now and just do the beard shave now? I mean, honestly. <laughs> oh, man. What do you guys think? I'll let the stream catch up for a moment. Oh, 
Jesus. Or should we save the shave for the uh, 24 hour stream? Do you guys want to see that as well? Then. Because I'll be doing the 24 hour stream. And so if we hit 15 uh, subs at that point, we'll also be uh, planning for that. I don't know. Like, I'm tempted to do both. I mean. Oh, God. In the middle of a fucking holy war where we're outmatched. How much money am I making now? Oh, man. this. Oh, and of course, here he comes. Um, I mean, there's no way. 10k versus 4. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. If we can win this, I'll be amazed. Yeah, no. <laughs> Like, there's nothing I could do. And there goes our factions launching. <laughs> oh, man. Um... Honestly, man, it's just... Oh, good. Yeah, please steal my gold. That's that's what I need. Also, so much... Oh, well... <laughs> Why, game? What did I do? What did I fucking do to deserve this? Oh. <laughs> yep. Yep. One I just landed. Oh, good. And he needs more troops, guys. You know, because we, we, we know he's totally outnumbered here. Like, that's the big issue. Now watch, just watch as the abbess said, oh, and good news, this war's over too. I mean, it auto-ended, so I guess that's nice. We don't lose all of our money to him. We're going to do something sneaky. <laughs> I got an interview after this. I have an interview after this for a very important job that could net me the 60k annual income that I'm hoping to hit. I end up in a bad mood. There's no fucking way I'm getting that job. <laughs> oh, man. So, boys? Any bets right now? The playthrough seems a bit rough. Yeah. Especially with how well it was going, right? Oh, you think this is rough, sir? Right, go check out the video on YouTube of what happened yesterday. <laughs> you want to see rough? <laughs> go watch that. <laughs> the Jewish playthrough was easier. Honestly. Oh, good! <laughs> Oh, uh, at least he's only 1.5k. I don't even know who he is. Oh, it's this guy. Alright. Let's see what we can do before he attacks me outright. Alright, that war's done. 
I've got some ideas. Don't worry, boys. I've got this. This one? No, no. The SPQR one from yesterday was just god-awful. This one's been just as bad. I'm not going to lie. Um, okay, so one of my leaders died. That's good, but no. I need cash. Yeah, that's what I linked. Oh, oh, it doesn't show the link because, of course, I don't allow links. Yeah, that's the one, though. If you're on the SPQR one, the Legacy of Rome uh, playthrough, yeah, check that out. Oh, I forgot to reassign my guardian. Oh, good. There's a few years of progress lost on my character. No, nope. assign character. Yep. Okay. We have, uh, yeah, it's a 20 minute video. Yeah, because I gave up. Like, I, no joke. I was like, I'm done. <laughs> Alright, this guy has 8k troops. Although it's a god awful idea, I'm gonna do something. Yeah, watch that after the stream. You'll you'll see why uh, it's been a rough week. All right, I just need to end this guy's lands. Okay, perfect. That's done. Okay. We can recover, boys. <laughs> this will be the comeback we've been waiting for. Shah Shahab, Shahab will be... Um, one of the best rulers we've ever rolled. You just watch. I'm going to recover this, damn it. We're going to do this. This is the comeback of the century. Oh, fuck you, rebels. <laughs> All right. You had to stop me just an extra second. Okay. We've got this. We're going to welcome the Jews back after this war. Uh, where are you? So you're under Kerman. I'm transferring your vassalage to this guy because you are a pain in my ass. Cool. All right. Yeah, best rebellion, right? Yeah. It's like, oh, hey. We're going to rebel in the middle of uh, your empire. Wait, what? <laughs> or right on top of ten, uh, 10k troops. Alright. Come on. Come on. Okay. Oh, good. I got arbitrary. That's, you know, that's something I can get rid of. That's fine. Okay. We're taking our territories back. We're gonna get this, boys. We're coming back. This is the start of our comeback. They haven't burned down our trade route yet, and that's what matters. Here we go. You watch. You watch. I mark my words. This is where we mark our comeback and build Persia. I'm not giving up yet. No matter how hopeless <laughs> this probably is. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, Fuka's in the Discord complaining about something. You can do it. Yes, we've got this. Sir Fret, my next child shall be named after you for your glorious donations to the Persian Empire. We've got this. We can... A hundred percent. There we go. There's that war done. Alright. More gold. Let's get rid of these mercenaries. Return home. Build up our army. Great. I look forward to this regency. <laughs> uh, Alright. Now, as long as the Abbasid doesn't decide that I'm a juicy target right now, we're going to sit here and let our money build up. Let's ransom out some prisoners. Get rid of some people. 
Welcome back to Juice so we can start making money again. He's going to die. <laughs> just at 15. Oh, man. No kidding. Uh, yeah, please go to China. That's great. I don't care. Um, send a eunuch. Let's see. What can we send? I really don't want to send my really good guy here, but let's send a concubine. Yeah. Oh, she's already going. So I think the big thing is we want to get a marriage going with this guy. If we can. So, uh, like an imperial marriage. I think that's going to be our goal now. Now that we're we're getting everything together. Please don't die of stress at 15. Alright, we're making money. We're making good money. Let's continue to upgrade our trade post. Okay, we don't need to now. We need to... Oh, yes, we do. We've got the small garrison. Alright. He's going to die. No, no. Let's not die of stress at AJ 15. Okay. He's got a good mustache. He's ready to groom an heir. He's a warrior, you know, true warrior. Um, oh, she's got genius. Actually, let's see what we have for strong. Uh, we have our sister, which we could. I'm thinking it might be a good thing to do, yeah, for the holy marriage thing. Although I can take concubines as well, which is good to know. I didn't know I could. All right. Whew. We're getting there, boys. We are getting there. All right. Now, the question is, do we want any concubines to take on? Um, yes. Uh, let's see. You're dull, but you're still a pretty good merchant. So, yeah. And then one more. Um, I think we'll take the 28, even though she's possessed. Perfect. Oh, well, the guy's not going to pay for his concubine. All right. <sighs> okay, we've got this. We know the two things we can do is war with Satrop here and take his stuff. Oh, we've got to usurp. Oh, Jabal, we can finally usurp. Thank you. Um, you hold both those lands, so I'm going to just grant you the Jabal. There you go. I'm just giving her the land uh, just because, you know, it gets... I can't put a trade post there anyways, so it's, you know, because someone already had it. So just give her the land, and that drops me back down to five. We're okay. So she's taking that. Um, that'll give us claims on the Abbasid. Now, we're going to wait to go to war with the Abbasid again. Because he is at zero decadence, so it's not like worth going after him. I'd have to have almost uh, three times his troop number. And although we can afford that, I don't want to have to. I think our big thing here is going to be going after him. Because I want to finish off taking these holy territories. And if we take him out, that's another chunk gone. Another potential enemy. And then we're going to go... Well, we'll probably go to war with this guy pretty soon. Because he's got really bad decadence. In fact, I'm kind of tempted... Yeah, let's do this now, because the sooner we do this, the less issues we're going to have. I'm only using my vassals men, though, um, because of that factor. Oh, god damn it! I'm not. I'm too far out. Let's bring the army up here. Actually, in fact, let's bring the army down. We can do this. If we can push this guy out, we can take Makram and then start pushing north on his territories, which would be really useful. Okay. Uh, someone accepted peace. I really don't care. Uh, yeah. All right. Whew. We're mounting our comeback. I've gained another 200 grace. Can I send another concubine to you? Yep. And then... I don't want to send my amazing warrior yet, but that's good to know. We're building up our deal, so... We're going to get enough... Um, favor with the emperor or grace that we can uh get an imperial marriage with our first son so that'll be the goal um you are going to marry where's that genius we saw yeah you're gonna marry her and try and get the bloodline built up more 
Perfect. All right. We've got this. I'm feeling better now. I'm feeling confident. <laughs> Why do I open my mouth? Why do I open my mouth, guys? Well, Sir Fred, I'm gonna, I would have taken the diet of stress at 15 over this. Not gonna lie, bud. Not gonna lie. Um... Shit. Uh, huh. These poor Jews just got back. I'm going to give it a moment. Um, let's gather our army. It's a holy war, I assume. Yeah, it is. And there's no other Zoroastrians. Okay. I have an idea. Um, it's not a great one, but if we can finish this war quick enough, I'll be fine. We might have to give up Jabal and not really... There may not be a choice in the matter. Um... I just don't want him... Oh, thank you. Thank you! I just don't want him to keep gaining territory, because the more he does, the harder he's going to become to be to defeat. Not only in the fact that, you know, he's going to be hard in general to kill, because, you know, it's the Abbasid, but the fact of how the, Mus the whole Muslim thing works with him, basically every time he wins a Holy War, he's going to get less decadence. We can just about kill him. Let me see. If we can kill him, we might be able to send his realm into chaos and he'll have to pull out. That's what I gotta hope for. Okay, let's see what we're at for power. Okay, that's 114. Where's our spy master? Um, build a spy network. Yeah, you need to, uh, an Abbasid Revolt or a Byzantine to do something. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, I don't think the Byzantines will do anything. Mostly. So, they're currently in the middle of a war with vassalizing Georgia, which means they'll probably look in a war with me here soon. And they've got a rebellion. Um, he does have an uprising, which is why I'm kind of confused why he's not fighting that right now huh oh wait is he gonna go over there maybe and deal with it we might get um, things going okay all right we're gonna try let's try and win this war hope that we, the rebellions gonna buy us at least a few minutes of him dealing with that rebellion. And maybe we will get lucky. It's not the one I'm marrying, right? No. Uh, yeah, I'll accept that. That's fine. Um, maybe we'll get lucky with this. Is there anybody else that wants to join the plot? No. Okay. Alright, so we need to finish this one off. Um, do you have any troops that I could ask for? That's fine. I'll accept that. Um, so I've got some packs going on. Let's see. They won't form alliances with me, will they? No. Uh, okay. Some extra manpower would be nice, even in the, that form. Okay, so let's do the marriage thing. That's fine. She can continue her education. I don't really care. Um, we need to finish our holy war. And then... He is going south, so we might be able to go over there and do something. I think the big thing is just going to be we have to finish this off. Oh, shit. 
Tren, stop fucking adding me. God damn, man. Okay. Alright, yeah, we really need this war to just finish up real quick. Um, alright. So, if we can finish him off here real quick, then I can take these territories off of him. Uh, it does annoy me that someone else got there, but that's fine. Come on, get over there. Hurry up. God damn it. Piss off. I don't care. <laughs> Alright. Sir Fret, this shall be your... You shall be him. Make sure I'm spelling it right. Congratulations. You're the son of a concubine. Okay. I've got emails coming in left and right. All right, we've got a rebellion coming, which kind of sucks, not going to lie, but okay. Oh my God, 70 days to do this one. What do you have? Oh, fucking criminy. Ugh. I mean, I could leave this war right now and just go and deal with him. <sighs> it might not be, a, I don't have an option. Um, now here's the hard question. Do we give a, uh, like, we could run away or walk away from this war and, you know, it'll finish itself out eventually. Um, we'll get it no matter what at this point, he's not going to win. And then do we tangle with the opposite and chance it? Like, he has another war going on. Like there's another rebellion going on in his territory. I just need you to die. Like, would you just send a gift, get him involved in the plot? I or do we? I I just let the Abbasid War take as long as possible and see what happens. That's true. He's not force sieging anything down, so I guess we can let that just go. Um, you have a fair point, and we need to let our money build up anyways. Oh, there we go. Oh no, someone's trying to kill me like usual. Um, can you please stop trying to kill me, whoever it is? I don't care anymore. You can't kill him. Why can't I? Maybe you kill him. Maybe he wanders off. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, yes, we got another good warrior, so that'll help. Um, let's finish this war off. He has 13k troops and you have 3k. That's true. I mean, I can hire mercenaries, but you have a fair point. It's going to be um, a really big issue for us. Oh, 100%. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. We'll take this. Um, I'm going to grant this to my brother. Um, so that I don't have to deal with it. And he can. So that'll help us out. Does he have any troops he can raise? No, of course not. Um, I mean, you have a fair point. We're not. We're definitely not going to win against him. The best we could hope for is maybe... Oh, he's leading his troops, of course. I was hoping, I was thinking, we could go siege down his capital. Um, we could go and attack some of his territory to stop him from winning the siege, I guess. Yeah, you may have to keep uh, advancing and vassalizing eastward and then push back west when he is weakened or revolt his death. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Um, let's... Here. I know what I'm... I'm going to hire the mercenaries. We can afford it pretty well. So let's hire... The 50. Bring them up here. We'll get this army rebuilding and we might be able to do something here. I mean, it, we're not going to win outright if we go in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Like, I know that. There's no way. Um, I 
I mean, we'd have to have some pretty crazy luck for that, and that would be basically dice rolls for us. But... Oh, fuck off. Seriously, buddy. A rebellion right now? Where are you even at? Okay, you're over there. Maybe I'll get lucky and he'll accidentally attack um, the uh, Abbasid. Get too close. Uh, get as close as 100% loss as possible so his troops decay as much as possible and then try to attack and wipe them out. That's what I'm thinking. That's why I hired the mercenaries ahead of time. I'm hoping my troops will build up. Um, I've already borrowed from Jewish merchants. We're going to expel them again. I'm going to just to have the extra padding of cash. I'm going to let my troops keep rebuilding. Is there any extra we can hire? No, not yet. Um, okay, so I see the Abbasid just finished up something. What? Just, oops, no, not what I want. So what happened? Okay, so he just finished that piece, which is unfortunate. And we are back down to 81% on our ability to kill him. Damn, that sucks. Okay. I'm hoping he'll start sieging something down and then we can just smack him, but you have a point. We're going to let our troops build up a bit more. He is getting closer. Um, I'm going to let him do this one more siege. Oh, he's got 5k more coming in. Are you fucking serious? Okay, he's at 99%. I mean, there's no way we can hit him here. That's the problem. If he leaves, though, yes. I can de-siege this and get... No, please don't. Please don't knock it down. Don't knock it down. Let me get here. Auto save. What the hell? Wait, it didn't go down. Why not? Okay, there we go. All right. We might be able to do something. I don't know why he's leaving. What he's doing, I have no idea. But that's AI for you, and I'm not going to question our good luck right now. Because if I can get this back down and then siege out some of his territory, we might be okay. Alright. Oh, fuck, he's going over there. I need to kill this army here in a moment, too. Okay, he's gone up north, and he's starting to get attritioned. Um, let me kill this asshole real quick. Aim for a white piece. That's what I'm hoping for, yeah. So I'm going to try and get him... I'm going to go and attack his lands here in a moment. Let me white piece this guy out. Let's try to get to his um, capital. That's kind of what I'm thinking as far as that goes. Can we banish you? Are you not the guy? Oh, okay. Well, I'll ransom you out. That's extra gold in our pocket. All right. Let's go and start sieging his territory down really quickly. Hopefully, if we can, then we might be able to white piece him. So that's that's going to be the goal here. We've got to get this as high as possible. Okay. And these are all his territories, so he's more likely to do it. Will you take a white piece now? Not yet. Okay, that's great. Okay. 48%. Will you take it now? Yes. Oh, there we go, boys. <laughs> Oh, man. And that gives us a peace timer. Okay. <laughs> okay. Till 9.38. Um, all right. Now, we've already expelled Jews, so we can't do it, bring them back anytime soon. We've got good money, but we're going to let our army build back up. Oh, man. Thank you, Sir Frat. We're trying to secure your kingdom, buddy. We need to secure your kingdom. The future of the bloodline must be held account, or held into account and gained. <sighs> okay. Um. So we do have this guy. We're gonna eventually have to war with. Oh, that's just your the guy you're under. 
Um, he has 12k right now. That's probably not our, in our best interest. There is this guy. He's at 806. This is really a good time to go to war. Although we're at 6k. Do we hold? I think I shall lead all the carrots. <laughs> How close are we to creating? Oh, 35%. We're far away. So, I mean, we've got some options here. I think we're going to let our army rebuild and use our money to like build up our territories for a little bit. We've got a 10-year peace timer. We need to use it to build. Uh, get him now. You think so? Oh, shit. Thank you, Napoleon Bonaparte Glue. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, so we could attack both of them right now. All right, we're going to try this since I know he's going to call him in anyways, if I don't, um, let's take Herat and actually let's take territory near to where we're going. So let's be in Merv. That'll help. Okay. Here goes, boys. We got this. We're pulling a Napoleon. We're declaring war on as many people as possible we're gonna, that are weaker than us, and we're going to try and take this land quickly. We have turned this stream around today, boys. I don't know how. I don't know why, but it's working. Okay, let's start here. Let's start pushing immediately uh, north. Um, into Merv. Take this guy out first. Alright, we've got this. Let's wipe this guy out. He'll get his army gone. Okay, perfect. Army gone. We do have some factions. Um, what is your problem right now? Opinion of predecessor. Yeah, I got that. Wants count a seat on the council. Okay. Um, let's put you on the council then, bud. There you go. And then I can pay you off to back off on that whole thing, I hope. Oh, that was expensive. And then what's your issue? Um, You don't have a seat on the council either, which makes sense. Who do we have as our spy master? You know what? I'm going to put you as my spy master. Congrats. Uh, and you can go spy in India. When? Where is uh, Selajuk? Uh, you talk about the kingdom that was down south? <laughs> I may have wiped them out already. Uh, we're in the year eight or nine twenty nine, so I have wiped out a few groups already. All right, so that marriage has gone through. That's fine. That marriage has gone through. That's fine. Let's take this guy down as quickly as possible. The Karens shall expand their territory even more. Uh, sure. Now I have, I'm like the most sympathetic guy you'll ever meet, apparently, towards other religions. Uh, but Selajuk was, I think, down here in the south. Um, they are not any longer, uh, as I managed to wipe them out. Uh, let me see. Was it you? Yeah. Uh, there was Sha of the Safford Kingdom. If that's what you're referencing. Oh, man. Okay. 29%. If we continue to expand, we should be all right. And we're making way more gold than we're spending. So that's nice. Okay. We're at 36. Okay. 48%. Nice. My wife is pregnant. That's what we like to see. Our sister wife is going into labor in the background. That's fine. Oh, man. Well, good. Uh, well, good publications. What? I'm confused. What do you mean? Good publications. Uh, yes, you are welcome to stay, buddy. Feel free. Also, I don't need these jours or the weak claims. Also, since he did white piece that, did he lose any uh, gain any decadence from it? He did, 3.6. So that's good to know. 
And he, is he at war right now with people? Let's see. Yeah, he's at war with... <laughs> One of my vassals is warring with the Abyssin. Oh, you're not very bright, bud. Oh, you're fighting this guy. Oh, okay. And who's in favor of? Wow, he's actually winning. Nice. Okay. That's what matters, right? You know? Okay, so our trade post has built up a good bit more. Um, and it's finally done. Sweet. All right. Whew, okay. I'm not going to siege this down. I'm just going to let it go slowly. Uh, I gained a silk shroud, apparently. What does that do? Uh, oh, intrigue. Sweet. I could always use more intrigue. Um, okay, so our spy master. Yep, definitely you. We might be able to form Persia in the next session, I think, if this keeps, if our, if we keep going um, east rather than west. I think you have a good point on that, Surf Rat. Good point. And look forward to the beard shave uh, coming up. Uh, I think we're probably going to do it um, maybe during the live stream or the 24-hour stream. I'll do it on stream for you guys. So. Um, it'll be part of the 24-hour stream, which is on the 15th, for those wondering. On June 15th, we are doing a 24-hour stream from 9 a.m. to 9 a.m. on the 16th. Um, look forward to that stream. Uh, we will be doing a bunch of games. Um, and Wolf will come, is going to be coming by. We're going to have food. We're going to chill out. Um, play some weird, cringy games. Play some of our normal playthroughs and all that kind of fun stuff. So... Look forward to that stream on the 15th of June. Uh, let's give it to you. Uh, let's get humble. Thank you. Okay, take that. All right. Oh, no. Is someone else conquering it? I'm going to have to go take that here in a second. Um, oh, man. This guy cut my hand off. Or I give it... Eh, I don't need the dragon amulet. I'm going to be honest. You should play the first Duos X. I might. I might check it out. Um, it, kinda, it depends on what people want to see. Like, we're still open for strategy on that. Um, okay. We're going to go beat up the horse lords. Um, let's give away some of this stuff so that way I don't have to deal with issues. So, did I conquer a holy territory? No, that's not. All right. Yeah, but let me know what you guys want to see for uh, that type of stuff. Oh, this is going to be a rough fight. But we got this. This is they're not Muslims, so that's all that matters. Okay, maybe okay. Let's see. Uh we need a new spy master. Definitely gonna keep it as one of our head vassals. Uh it's like a three dollars on stream and it's an incredible game. Alright, I'll check it out. Um definitely interested in checking that out. Let me let my morale go back up. Let's go wipe this guy out now. All right, yeah. I'll uh, definitely look at it and see if that's what you guys want to see me play. Then let's uh, get that going. There we go. Nice. Okay. Oh, God damn it, vassals. Why are you being my problem now? I've given you money. What more can you ask for? What's your problem? Uh, my demence is too big. That's true. Let's, uh, did we get Merv as the duchy? No, we did not. So we have to give out the lands individually. All right. Search realm. Men. My religion. No great house. And no two ruler. Let's grant these boys some land. And this will calm some of my vassals down as well. You're like 59 years old. Jesus, man. Um, no, where is it? Nope. Uh, Merv, you can have that. All right. That should get my vessels to relax a little bit. And let's give one of our commanders, um, land as well. You, since, you know, you already have a daughter. What is this called? This is Sarox. Okay. There you go, bud. Perfect. All right, surf rat. What kind of education do you want, man? Let me know. What are we thinking? I'll give you a minute to decide while I run to the restroom real quick. Ugh.
gotta be war. I can't die. <laughs> I don't go into battle. All right. Uh, war it is. So let's go with struggle, because your life is truly going to be a struggle. Might as well get custom to it now. All right. We will give you to the greatest warrior in the realm to train. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, go save my daughter. That's fine. Oh, we have another great warrior that has joined our court. Oh, gods. Some of these guys are just terrifying. All right. Whew. Oh, God damn it, rebellions. Let's take this land off this man as quickly as possible. And then we go... Oh, we'll go deal with this rebellion wherever it might be. Oh, it's over there. Oh, God, it's a 5K. Jesus criminy. Oof. Uh, religiously, we still got places converting, so... Let's... Oh, no! Why? Why did you have to reinforce? Oh, that was my own bad for not paying attention. Let's retreat back. And we need to hire mercenaries. No worries. Okay. Well, that was a dumb mistake on my part. Um, I need more noble custom and more tolerance, probably. Cav would be good to get built up, though. Honestly, if you just want to go deal with these peasants real quick, that would be amazing. Or actually, well, let's deal with this dude first. Damn it. Ugh. I hate being raided so much. Is the only like it's fun when I'm doing it. It's not fun when uh, anybody else does. All right. He still fight. Oh, they finally finished that war. Oh no, it's uh, still going. And it is now in his favor. Oh, interesting. All right. Um. Yeah, become bitter. I don't want you being affectionate. That'd be a bad combo. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's re-set uh, up our secondary son as a faithful man. Obviously, you know, got to be a man of the cloth. There you go. Go train under him. Have fun. All right. Wipe this guy out. Okay. We're going to go back up north. I'm going to try and punch through this guy's defenses once more. And let's hope for the best here. Yeah, yeah, fine. You know, China's doing stuff. Got it. Do we have any eunuchs I can send? Uh, yeah, let's send this guy because he's not going to be of use to us. And then we can request an imperial marriage to Surf Rat. Oops, his guardian is dead now. Great. All right. Let's kill this guy off real quick, and then we'll go deal with Rebellion down in the south. It shouldn't be too much of an issue to get them out of there. Oh, God damn it! more infidels. That is not what we need right now. Can you please piss off with all the notifications? Thank you. Okay, we need to hurry up and win this war, because I need to go down south and deal with them. Now was not the time to need these senseless wars at all. Or these senseless rebellions. Uh, we can usurp Merv now. Congrats. Uh, you've been in prison. Well, I'm... S oh, and I can't grant you land because of it. Um, you know what? I'm going to grant you then the s a thing of Merv. Congrats, bud. You are now the Lord of Merv. Let's take this guy out. Oh, man, this is a rough fight. I'm not joking here. Uh, go down. Thank you. 62. No, meant to go there. Thank you. No, I've got to... Oh, fucking God damn it. I gotta get up here and take this territory as well, because I don't want this guy to have it. Because we hold that right now, so we just need to siege this down now. And then the war is ours. All right, we send... Yep, thank you. Another territory that's mine. Let me go down here now and hopefully deal with these rebels. 
Um, do I have the Duchy of Kiva? I do not. So I'm going to give out these lands here in a moment. And that should hopefully get rid of uh, or bring our faith up a bit more. How's our faith doing? 34. Ouch. Um, it's because we only control one holy site. <laughs> so, and even though we're winning a lot of holy wars, there's uh, not as many being gained here. All right. Um, let me grant some titles out before my vassals all get upset with me. Uh, I will grant you land. Wait, are you orthodox? No, you're not the white right one I want. Okay. Grant you land. Yep. One moment, guys. There's something important that just popped up. Okay. Apparently my great-grandmother's back in the hospital. Okay. Um, we will grant him the rest of these lands over here. Uh, what is this? Madimia? Okay. I mean, I can't leave. That's the only thing, because uh, someone's got to be here to watch the dogs. So. Uh, Urgetch, got it. And then Kiva. Okay. Let's hope she is okay. Um, I'll let you guys know as soon as I hear something, of course, but yeah. We'll keep streaming for the time being. Uh, we'll go to our normal scheduled time. I just have—I'll have to go back downstairs around, um, or I'll have to take a quick thirty or two-minute break to run downstairs uh, in about thirteen minutes. So, okay, let's go deal with this guy down here. Oh, is this all one piece of territory? It is okay, and he's over there. Got it. More. God damn. This is going to be a rough fight. Uh, okay, we're reinforcing, though. Maybe we'll get lucky, and he'll attack us as we're going down here. Oh, this is going to be a rough... Really? More? Are you fucking kidding me? More? <laughs> no! Uh, my great-grandma there is... Uh, just, we just found out she's back in the hospital again. Um, and now I'm being attacked by rebels left and right. Um, so we'll see how much longer the stream goes. So I don't know, um, what's going on. If she's going to be okay or not, I'm waiting to, or my great aunt's going up there to find out. Um, cause someone has to be here to watch the dogs. Okay, cool. We wiped out the rebellion. We're good. All right. Um, Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's okay. Um, you know, she's been dealing with this for uh, all, throughout the last couple weeks. COVID's just been kind of rough on her um, because she doesn't do well with um, like being at home and not being able to socialize with people. So, you know, um, this is I think the third time. So, someone's gonna, or my great aunt's gonna check on her. I'm not. I'm watching the dogs, and hopefully everything will be all right. So I'll find out soon though. Oh, cool. We had another son who's strong. Uh, we need to restrict the... Um, I'll lose the 150 grace. That's fine. Fuck. More rebellions. God damn it. Um, oh, I didn't disband the mercenaries, and that's why. Um, let's grab our army together. Can you actually go this way and then that way? Yeah, so... If I suddenly, like, end the stream, guys, that's why. Understand that's, you know, I'm, we're trying to make sure she's okay and taking care of her. So, I don't think I will have to, uh, but there's always that chance that it happens. So, um, just a heads up, you know. Figured I'd warn you guys just in case. But, yeah. We'll continue on. It's no worries, guys. Um, I mean, because the one thing is right now that you... Uh, so, in 
Oregon right now, we're still under like, uh, especially my county, since it's where I'm right on the like main city of Portland. Um, we're still in um, extreme uh, restrictions. Oh God damn it! The Zoroastrians lost more faith. Um, and because of that, so they're only allowing uh, at most hospitals one like per guest permitted per person um, in the hospital. So therefore, I can't even go see her and right now. Uh, because my great aunt's the only one who is allowed to due to uh, she being the permitted guest. And that's because of the fact that she's the one who will drive her and take her back and forth in case uh, it's needed. So basically, if I go with her, typically it's just me sitting in the car and well, outside and uh, hanging out. Um, and then I'll like call, talk to her on the phone. So, yeah. That's just kind of how it is right now. So, you know, it sucks. It really does, but... I can't do anything about it, so I just kind of have to live with it. But, yeah, you know, we all are dealing with issues during this these trying times, so, you know, I'm not too um, worried as far as that goes. Um, she'll pull through. She's a strong woman, so it's just the whole uh, she hasn't been taking her meds is what, what has us worried. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and up our writing grounds here. So... You know, we'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys up to date. She's going to be happy to see me shave this beard, though. If it makes you feel... Like, she's been wanting me to shave this thing off for so long. <laughs> so, you know, you guys have done well by her to get me to shave this. <laughs> oh, man. I'll probably shave it today, um, like, the, here in a bit, like, after my interview or something like that. And, uh, or, you know, I'm not, we'll see. Cause I've got to, I'll be twirling up the mustache. That'll be the fun part. I'll, uh, let you, I'll make an announcement. I probably, I probably will not do it today, but I will do it, be doing it soon. Um, since we have hit the five subscribers. And for those who want to see me dye my hair color that you guys choose, go ahead and feel free to keep subbing and following. Cause if we hit either 250 followers or 15 subscribers, I'm going to dye my hair the color the followers choose. So. <laughs> some are saying rainbow someone said hot pink you know i've had a couple options pop up so <laughs> oh man all right now we can usurp this perfect and grant that to this guy perfecto uh it's curva so perfect he's got that territory now we've got our daughter um educating which will be good assign guardian uh, actually, let's give her to one of my vassals. That'll work perfect. Okay. Um, so, let's see. I'm trying to think. At this point, what's the main thing I should be looking? Oh, I need to see how big I need to get for Persia. And are you still being educated? Cool. Uh, for the Empire of Persia, we are now at 38%. So, I think... Let me see. Okay, so we need to get this piece of territory back. And then we need to finish conquering him and pieces of him and then we'll have to take a little bit over here but then it'll be focusing on the abbasid that's going to be our biggest issue um and he's still zero decadence god damn yeah oh man he is that's gonna be a rough fight when we do eventually go that way so uh yep let's compensate them that's fine yeah, he's going to be a real rough fight against us. Uh, severe rumor. Okay. Someone's apparently spreading rumors about me. Uh, no, please. Thank you. And let's banish some people that we can. Ooh, 155 gold. Thank you. More gold. Um, banish you. And then I think I'll just execute the rest of them. Cool. Now we got 29 kills, boys. Oh, man. All right, even more gold. So, we're, yeah, we're going to continue to upgrade our territories right now. That's going to be our biggest booster at this point um, is to continue doing that. Um, and then we'll start building up more territories or adding more holdings in our territory as well. Uh, go ahead and do that. And then it's you who's the problem. Let's send you a gift. Let's send you a gift. And that should keep you guys somewhat mellowed out. Okay. Troop count going up. Yeah, that's basically the thing. I mean, we're getting up there, but it's taken a while. We also need, uh, like, our building things to spread out a bit more. Because we need way more uh, castle infrastructure and improved keeps. 
So, um, that's going to be our big one. Oh, God damn it. But we're going to calm down on wars for a little while um, to let our vassal levy go back down. Uh, ba -ba -bum. So, and then, oh, he already conquered the guy. I was just about to say we can conquer this dude next. But since he's gone, I guess we're going to continue to pick on this guy over here um, as much as possible. I mean, he's got Parthian blood, but, you know, it doesn't matter. We're just going to continue to push him. So, as much as possible. Because if we can take him out... Okay. One moment. Um, Alright. So, my granite's taken off now. Oh, we can war with him already. I mean, I'm not going to, because right now we've got dangerous factions, and we've got our vassal levy, but it's good to know that we can, because we can take more chunks off him. Gotta get this troop count keep going up. Yeah, that's been our big thing for our vassals. Um, we just gotta keep them all happy with us. That's our main thing. Um, yeah, let's send this guy instead. All right, uh, let's continue your martial training. Doing well, good to see. It sucks you haven't gained like shrewd or something like that. Uh, let's go ahead and keep her training up and then we'll just give her off to one of my um, vassals to keep them happy. Perfect. Yeah, we have the gold, but I definitely don't want to piss off my vassals right now. And I'm afraid, well, we still got one more year before the um, Abbasid goes to war with us again. We might be able to push this war real quick. Um, let's take Herat, and that'll give us another chunk. Uh, I'm going to use my own... Mm, if I use my own troops, then i got to deal with a dangerous faction, though. That is a problem. What's your issue? So you're upset because you want to see on the council, but you suck at everything. Can I give this seat to someone better than you that's not upset? Here, I'll just give it to him. I mean, it sucks our money is going to go down a bit, but that should get him off my back in that section. Let's grab our manpower. We have money, so I'm not too concerned, because even if we got a rebellion right now, um, we could still support mercenaries pretty comfortably. So, now am I also... Oh, he's warring with him. Wait, what are you warring for? Oh, man, I, I didn't realize he was warring for the same thing. Oh, that sucks, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, well. I mean, we could have gotten two wars. I didn't look. I should have looked first, yeah. Ah, uh, that sucks. Oh, well. But yeah, our troop count is going up, which is nice. Um, I'm going to hold off on spending money until after we have another um, truce timer with the Abbasid. Or he gets a massive rebellion going. But I don't think he's going to anytime soon, which is why. And he's still got 10k troops, and he's got more on the way. We still can't kill him either. Okay. So let's take this. What's the problem? Okay. Uh, you want my wife to be the ruler. Well, you know, that's unfortunate. Um, what's your issue? Oh, okay. You've just got problems in general. All right. We're building up our castle town to get more money, which is also a nice thing. Um, and then just building troop count at this point will be our main goal. Uh, okay, we'll continue educating you in faith. That's fine. And we need a new marshal. Oh, man, that's, that's, yeah, we need to take him on as our marshal. This guy's just way too good. Definitely going to be well worth it, even if we lose him as a guy on the front lines. Like, our troop count is going to go up a lot. All right, immortality quest. Here we go. We're totally going to manage to get the immortality. We always do, boys. Um, who else are you at war with? You're also at war. Wow, all of you are taking, her, trying to take her at. Seriously? If you guys had said something, I would have gone to another territory. <laughs> oh, well. Not my problem. All right, let's uh, continue to take this. This guy is ra uh, raiding us, which is fine. All right. Yep, we're getting our troop count up, and that's what matters right now. And we're still making plenty of money, which is good to see. 
another daughter of mine needs to be educated. That's fine. Let's give them to another vassal to train up and keep the vassals happy. All right, there's 78%. Let's go wipe this guy out now. Because I can probably get the rest of the percentage if I just knock this army out. Um, let's do the 461. Thank you. And then we're going to siege this down. 98%. Perfect. China news, that's fine. Someone else is warring with you, apparently. Who is this? Oh, okay. Huh. Good to know that you're at war with this guy, too. Oh, you're at war with me. Okay, that's why. You want peace? Yeah, I'll accept it. There we go. Another nice territory under us, guys. That's what we like to see. All right. Again, I don't think it's a holy site. Uh, what was the start date? Charlemagne or Old Gods? Old Gods. Uh, 867. Because we're going for the Survivor Achievement as well. While we go for our Persian Achievement. So. Okay. Now, I don't have any other good commanders in my territory, I assume, at this point. So, we're starting to build up, boys. We're getting there. You're blind, but you're a genius. Oh, what's the blindness due to your you know you can still have children you're pretty old though i could grant you land though all right we're gonna grant him land uh let's grant him that grant him what is this territory harat okay grant him what is this conj something there we go let's dock and then lastly, Mondesh. Okay. Perfect. And then we'll usurp that later. So another guy down, which is basically what we've been wanting. We want to see more of these guys dropping. Um, he's got 4K troops now. Oh, he hired. That's why event spawned. Jeez, did they charter a pl uh, party bus to Greece or what? Why are they blinded? I don't know, but you know what? I'm okay with it. Yeah, he's, he's a genius, so. God, this Abbasid is just roughing us up. I mean, I'm worried. He's getting more men. I mean, we're getting more manpower too, which is nice. But, oh man, this is going to be... A if we have to fight him again, it's going to be rough. We really need to watch our gold now, because now he we no longer have the peace with him. Um. Oh, cool. I created another kingdom. Can I create an empire now? <laughs> Where's the found an empire? Uh, I need 8,000 prestige. Oh, good. Um, all right. And we've got some territories that we have to build castles in. Luckily, we can do that because we have lots of gold. One guy did it and they all thought it was cool. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, our troop count is definitely going up. That's a nice thing. We are starting to increase in more and more. So, um... No, I'm good. Right now, I think the main thing, honestly, is we want to make sure we can keep a nice peace deal with this dude. I don't want him attacking us. Mess not marry for someone from another... Okay, so we can't do that. And I don't suppose the Abbasid is willing to let me marry into his family. Ranger Betrothal... Yeah, damn, that would help us. Heavy infantry mountains should beat the Muslims' troops if they don't outnumber you, like two to one. Or well, it's not the problem of being outnumbered. In fact, we're pretty evenly matched most of the time. It's the decadence issue. Of course, he's got this uh, plus twenty-five percent morale of uh, uh, of defense troops. So yeah, it hurts. Not gonna lie. All right. Who's ready to watch me, the butcher, die? Um, okay, so Sir Frat's coming of age soon, and he'll be marrying off. Uh, yep. Unless somehow we get immortal here, which would be amazing. I mean, our heavy infantry isn't bad, but it's going to be rough on us. Um, and retinue-wise... It's just, I mean, I don't want to bring on retinues yet. I'm just kind of holding off on them, but I might have to just to get the extra manpower. It might not hurt. 
Um, because this is heavy infantry and arrows. Let's start. Yeah, we're going to bring on as much as we can. I'm not going to stay in um, control of them. Let's see how much that's going to affect our goal long term. Because we could definitely use the extra manpower at this point. Okay, it's not that bad, honestly. So we'll do that with our normal troops. And that'll give us roughly a little bit more men. So that's what we want to see. Put up to up to 12k. So we might be able to hold off if we do get ward on again. Um, all right. Continue educating other heirs in the right of combat. Whew. Uh, let's do the antelope. Please don't stab me, antelope. Please don't stab me, antelope. Please don't stab me, antelope. I'd really rather not be stabbed. I've had that happen. Oh, I gained brave. Okay. Let's hope that we don't get the one where we're, like, reborn into another one of our sons. Because I hate that immortal, or, uh, lack of immortality quest. So. Alright, these guys are reinforcing. It's going to take a while for them to fully reinforce, which sucks, but. Uh, let's put you in charge of our merchants. Um, and we've got full reinforcement on, yeah. Okay. Whew. Okay, boys, we got this. I mean, I'm not going to war with the Abbasid anytime soon. I'm not like going to declare war on him. But if he declares war on me, it can't hurt. And we are being raided right now, which does kind of suck. But we're going to let our money build up for the time being. Um, while we chill out and wait. So, we're building Sarpa up, so that'll be done. We already have another kingdom under us, so that's great. We've got more than enough children. We should be fine. Things are going well. All right. Um, let me give you to them. How are my vassals doing? Good. More religious transfers. No, oh, R. Okay, he's still converting. How's our religious unity? 32. Gods. We really need, so we need there and there, and then otherwise it's all in the Abbasid's territories. Okay. Can I war with you again? No, not till 949. Okay. These ab uh, the extra retinues though should help us a bit. Oh, come on. Really? Nah, man. Nah, that's not happening, buddy. Let me uh, show you why you're not raiding. Oh. Our troops just... Did they just wipe out my entire retinue? <laughs> Fucking hate raiders. Yes, they did. <laughs> uh, this is why I don't use retinues. For those wondering. It's just not worth the gold. Um, Who are you and why do I care? Uh, I do not care about you. I give up on using retinues. <laughs> oh, man. Um, you want my daughter's hand in marriage. Um, are you any worth to me? Yeah, no, not really. Well, yeah, you're not that all that terrifying, so no. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, heavy infantry would be nice. All right, there goes our heir. He has finally come of age. We can also finally create land over here create Caspian oh good we got to create more okay uh, that's great so let's grant I assume that's you yeah we'll grant you no we're not giving you a kingdom we'll grant you this that and then uh, oh I can found forge a bloodline yeah that'd be nice did I already do I have not oh they burnt <laughs> They burnt it down, those assholes. All right, well, that's fine. Um, okay, so request an imperial marriage to my heir. All right, surf rat, you're getting a wife. Ugh. All right, oh, wow, and she's strong. Okay. 
And I can demand her religious change, so that way she'll be, you guys will fall in love more. She's not chaste, is she? Nope, she is not. Asian wife, yep. Alright, she's now of our religion. Congrats, buddy. Alright, we're going to try and found a bloodline. So that's one of the things we're doing. Um, which means we can also now call the Chinese Honor Guard, which will be helpful. Um, and I still can't war with you. That'll give us an extra, what, 1,500 troops now? Something like that. So, that will help. Um, Alright. Um, here we go, boys. 25% we die. Well, we didn't die. Alright. I don't know what happened, but we didn't die, so that's what matters. Um, assign your guardian uh, to... Let's give him Dio. Um, have I been able to get a rat yet? No, I have not usurp it, because they're at war. Uh, lol, that hit right at the auto, uh, an auto save. I thought you were dead for sure. <laughs> Never know, you know. Ah, oh, man, I'm... Uh, I want to be able to go and keep these territories, but I don't think we're going to be able to keep them overall. Just do the raiders. I mean, I tried to build this. So we'll try and uh, get that going. Hopefully... Oh, well... <laughs> now we did. Shah, Shah, uh, Shahab has ascended to heaven at age 34. Um, he died under suspicious circumstances. Uh, ever envious, he always wanted what other people had. A wicked mad Shahab will surely pay for his sins in the afterlife. Shah Surfrat 86, being a talented military tactician, we expect him to lead us to many victories on the field of battle. Long live Shah Surfrat. Alright, as your predecessor, yeah, we couldn't keep it, which sucks because I spent that money for nothing. Oh, no. As long as you start constructing it, you're fine. Okay, good to know. Um, yeah, abandon heresy. Wait, no. Uh, renounce secret faith. <laughs> Live long. Yeah, right? Alright, we're going to go into martial. Uh, we've gained our title. I'm going to set this as that. Oh, we didn't get to form the bloodline. Damn it. Um, well, I just gave up that. So that shit, that sky burial thing should be gone. Um, let's become exalted amongst men. Why can Oh. I guess we're doing a sky burial. Do you Zoroastrians have any good societies? Uh, yeah, when you finally manage to... Uh, I think so. I, I don't know. I've never had to do it. Um, but I guess we'll find out. All right. So we're Zoroastrian again. We have a lot of raiders in our territories. We have like no gold and we are a falconer. So now we can war with these guys again, which is nice. Um, so, and it is, oh, wait, oh, there we go. Um, tempting to do so, because then we can start getting holy sites. So, let's look at what we've got to do for this. I like birds. Yes, basically, that's exactly what it is. You like birds right now. Gather the army. Although, we're being raided everywhere, so we'll see how much of an army we actually get. We have, like, no gold right now, so that's not happening. Uh, and we could raise Chinese Honor Guard if we feel we need to. What do all you want? Um, decline. You know what? We're going to send her off for another 840. And we could request a second Imperial marriage to our brother. I think so. Just in case. Does not hurt. All right. He'll have a wife now, you know. He'll be doing well. Um, how much is the Chinese Honor Guard? 85 cents maintenance. That's not bad. All right. We're going to go over here. 
I don't know how much of the army we're gonna get. We'll see. Uh, my brother is now married to the Chinese, which is helpful. I'll accept. Just get stop proposing marriages to me. All right, we've got about six thousand troops. We need to go and deal first with these raiders, and then we're gonna try and push ahead. That'll be. We're gonna try and do that. So okay. The goal right now for us is uh, we can't restore the priesthood until we get the Persian Empire. So it won't even matter like any of that. We definitely are not getting the Sioshiant for a while. So um, that's that's going to be a bit. Um, we're going to try. Like once we get the Persian Empire, that's when we'll start doing that stuff. But due to the fact that we're being raided left and right, it's going to be a little harder to get to. We do need gold. Like, that's going to be our biggest thing. Um, I don't know what I do. Oh, how much is it going to cost? We almost have enough. When we have enough, we're going to welcome the Jews back to get more money coming in again. Um, and then we can push ahead. Uh, what do you want? Sure. All right. Take the entire army and start moving this way. All right, we are building another castle, which is nice. Uh, we cannot do anything for the emperor at this point, so that's fine. Oh, Shahaz, you've had Surfrat, son. All right, we'll name this after one of the subscribers. Uh, let me go in here. Let me see who got subbed. Do, 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 do. That's not what I want. Uh... Or let's just name it after a person in chat. Let's see. Um, we're going to name him. Do, 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 do. Okay, so Julian Luna. I think, wait, i got to make sure I'm spelling it right. So he's one of the people. Oh, Cos okay, we'll name him after Tren. That's Tren for those wondering, Cosmic Chicken. Tren shall, <laughs> he's going to hate me for this because he hates play me playing Persia. <laughs> Being a Greek boy. <laughs> All right. Uh, Child of Destiny. As you hold Trent in your arms, you feel something ominous emanate from his tiny eyes. They are not filled with the glee of a newborn babe, but with the determined ambition of a warrior. You are sure it is nothing but the uh, Herbad who delivered him claimed the night of his birth. Unusual, somehow blessed, perhaps. Although some would call it folly, you remember the night as bearing prophecy. As you put Trend to bed, a shiver runs down your spine. In your mind's eye, an image of the world changing flashes past where the great kings bend the knee to your son. Perhaps the time it's time for you to go to bed, too. Oh! Trend is prophesized. Every heir should be named... Jehovah, <laughs> lots of pressure on Tren. Yeah, Tren's gonna have to make them uh, bend the knee. Ooh. All right. Time to conquer this territory. Yes, any hard welcome from the Chinese Empire. Now to siege this man down as quickly as possible and take these territories for ourselves. Uh, let's, yes, that marriage is fine. By the way, how does our brother look for his wife? What he get? Oh, she's also strong, so that'll help. We'll see what kind of traits Trend gets for this. Um, I don't know what he'll get, but it'll be interesting to see. Alright, let's, um, push through these territories and start attacking. Surfrat's goal is to capture all of the religious sites of the Great Persian Empire at this point, so that he can. Jesus, someone just smashed something down. Alright, 58%. Whew. Of course, and we got a rebellion in the middle of this. Why not? Where's the rebellion at? Oh, and it's down there again. Oh, and we don't have gold to deal with this one. Well, let's hopefully finish this battle up real quick, and then we'll go down there and deal with the heresy. Oh, and of course it's going to take fucking forever. Will you just take peace? Nope. Damn it. Surfrat, as soon as your son is born, things go to hell. <sighs> Why? 
calm herself. You can now see. Wait. A terrified servant being uh, brings little Trend to me. Tears running down his, her cheeks. She claims that Trend drank an entire vial of poison while in the uh, cookery. Strangely enough, he does not look like he's ailing at all. In fact, he's babbling as unusual or as usual, smiling at me. <laughs> Apparently, Trend's immune to poison. Child of Mithridates. This character resists poison to such a degree that people claim that child him a child of Mithridates. Okay. Oh, man, once we get that 200... Wait, I've got an idea. It's not a good idea, but it's an idea. We have just done something. Just we. Uh, who puts poison near a baby? Well, who puts poison in a kitchen? That's my question. All right. Can we... Come on. Um... You want to pay money? Oh, yes. I will give you lands, buddy. You want to give me cash? That's fine. Wait, where is your territory? There it is. All right. I'm going to put you under this kid, though. Transfer your vassalage. Uh, there you are. Because I don't want you rebelling. <laughs> All right. Uh, keep your education going. Let's assign your guardianship to one of my vassals. Maybe it'll make him happier about it. It did indeed. All right. Okay. And 99%. Do you want peace? Yes, you do. Cool. So we can go fight these rebels. Nice job. All right, Sir Fright, you've managed to do even more damage conquesting through the Holy Lands for ourselves, making our religion stronger and stronger as we go. Hopefully some of our vassals will pick up the other religious territories. But that puts us at 42% now as we control two holy sites. That's not bad. All right, do we have any great warriors we can give this land to? No, so I'm going to grant it to my brother. Um, all right, there you go, bud. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Where's the territory? There it is. There's that. And then grant you, what is this, Mayama? I'm playing a dangerous game of giving him territories. Now, did we get the bulk? No, we have to wait to usurp that. But now we can also declare war on these guys later. I don't know if they're actually part of what I'm trying to form. Is they part of Persia? We're at 46% of Persia. We need 80. And they are. So we're going to have to declare war on them. Take this. And take this stuff as well. Okay. So I've got some ideas here. We know our conquest territory. Like where we're going to go. My gods. 121. Ah, oh, man. This is going to suck. Okay. So you want a seat on the council. That's the main issue. All right. We're going to give you this job. Because I need you to not rebel. I mean, it is increased power. I'm not against the council being empowered because it gives us advisors. I just don't want them to... Yeah, here. We're going to give them that. I don't want the war stuff, though. Like, that's the main thing. I don't want the... I want an advisor so that way I can give them an extra position. And it'll make my council happier. Um, and hopefully keep them from doing anything stupid. Um, oh, I'm not giving you 251 gold, buddy. Okay, hopefully that'll decrease them a little bit. And then I need to give up a piece of territory, apparently. So all this is part of mine. I want to keep this, even though it's part of Tarbistan. Is there a reason for me to keep this? Not really. So I could grant you the Duchy of Tarbistan. And then grant you this piece of territory right here. Illusion, good luck with this one. This was the hardest campaign I've uh, done so far. I've run so far. Yeah, it's been rough. Although the SPQR achievement, um, because of a, uh, an accidental misclick, was, has been my most hated. So. But, you know, we're going to keep going for it. Quiver. 
All right, I'm going to give you Quiver just so that way you don't bother me on that. And that gets rid of our Court Chaplain, which is unfortunate because I could really use a better Holy Man. All right. So that should make everyone a lot happier. You guys piss off. Yeah, we'll see how things go. I mean, it'll be interesting because the, the hard part is I am stuck between two pretty strong empires being the Abbasid here. 0% decadence, although it's finally going up. Um, and the what looks to be soon the, the emperor of India <laughs> with 29k troops. Oof. Oofta, boys. Oofta. Um, it's not going to be easy. But we're getting there. We are trying to get this. Kill that little kid. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, man. Uh, let's gain that. All right, Surfrat, you've become a better warrior. See if it splinters the territory. Well, let's first check to see if it's gavel kind. If it's a gavel kind um, empire, then yeah, it would. Uh, it is. Oh, 38% though. All right, and we don't have much money here. Oops, nope. Uh, let's see if we can. Um, 14, 9, 8. There's not enough power here to kill him. But if he does, when he does die, it will gavel kind out. So that will split up his empire a little bit. Um, let's see the realm, realm prosper. That's, that's a goal now. We need to be able to chill out. Um, if he has an empire tile, Gavikin will only split the realms uh, internally. Yes, I know that. Um, I'm saying though that it is Gavilkind, so we'll see how things go for him. Um, let's get you in this position. All right, so our vassals have been raised for a while, so this will hopefully slowly calm them down. Um, we are going to get a new chancellor, but I'm going to make it one of our top vassals to keep them happy. Uh, let's get you on the council. That helps. Um, what's your issue with me? Sold my county. Oh, that yeah, that's fair. <laughs> That'll only be in effect for another while. What, what territory did I gain? Oh, iced. That's right. Uh, let me go ahead and just grant that to you. Boom, there you go. That makes you happier. All right, perfect. Lures die the weaker they get in the possession of sp potential p uh, splitting. Yeah, that's basically the thing. Um, but for right now, I'm not too worried. It's more of trying to keep my council happy um, between the two of, uh, with everything going on. And then we need money. That's going to be our biggest issue. Um, right now we are kind of uh, needing cash. We're not doing as great as I'd like. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll be, we'll gain kind. I don't want to, but I don't want this little shit to kill me later. So, uh, as I check on little Tren, I am terrified to discover a snake in his crib. Fortunately, the snake is dead, but who killed it? It surely could not have been Tren. I better keep an eye out on him. We need more guards in here. He's growing, boys. Strangled a snake. Jesus. That's terrifying. All right. Uh, yeah, keep your education going. Um, I will assign your guardian to one of my vassals that are not as happy. There you go. I think actually one of the things I need to do for those daughters of my, or sisters of mine that aren't um, in the middle of being married off to someone or married um off. I'm going to try and get some marriage alliances going here. Arrange a betrothal between him and her. Really? Why? Um, okay. That's a weird one. Huh. Okay. Let's do, let's try you. Uh, you're already married off, sadly. Okay. Uh, what about your daughter? Arrange a betrothal to... Not my heir. How about him? That'll keep you happy. Um, who holds your son? Oh, a rebellion. 
All right, let's arrange a betrothal between him and them. Tren is gonna get his eye poked out. Why do you say that? What makes you say that overall? I'm curious. All right, let's get a marriage alliance. Oh, well, you have no children. Okay, that's fine. What about with you? Again, no one to marry off to. That sucks. All right. So China's back to business as usual. We could send a eunuch. Uh, yep, let's do that. More grace with him is always good. Messing with snakes, right? Yeah. Um, let's get a Chinese artifact. Han treasure treaties of law. Let's see what we got. Plus five vassal opinion, except we can't equip it. Why? Oh, I don't have. <laughs> Sir Fred is not a very well learned man. At some point, he is going to run with scissors, and his eyes gonna go pop. <laughs> Well, boys and girls, thank you for the stream today. So, before I go, uh, just as a reminder, we are doing the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer playthrough tomorrow. Second reminder, June 15th, make sure to save the date for 9 a.m. We are starting our 24-hour stream. Um, that day, I will be I will do the barrier shape on the 15th during the 24-hour stream. So, make sure to come check us out. Uh, Wolf will be here. We'll have some good food. We'll have a lot of joking around. D&D, &D, CK2... Um, Nico Para, I mean, every game I can play. Um, and thank you for the good luck on the interview. I'm hoping I get it. I'll let you guys know, of course, tomorrow, uh, how things go. And yeah, otherwise, um, look forward to everything coming up. Um, I think that's it. Oh, and of course we do not have a D and D stream this weekend. So there will be Pokemon streams in the morning on Saturday and Sunday, uh, or we'll be maybe in the morning, maybe in the evening, all announced out on Friday. So keep an eye out. Um, thank you guys for following. Thank you guys for subscribing and thank you guys for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Feel free to check out the YouTube channel for the VODs. Um, so that way you guys can, if you ever miss a stream, you can check it out and feel free to give a follow. If you enjoyed this material, what we uh, did today, I will see you guys tomorrow at 9 AM. Peace.